just kick that back over for Bryce and we'll stand on when you're done with reading. Okay. This will come up when you're done. Oh, okay. And that'll be good. Okay, so it's the... I heard the bells on Christmas Day 
their old familiar carols play. And wild and sweet the words repeat of peace on earth, good will to men. I thought as now this day had come, the bell frees from all Christendom had rung so long that unbroken song of peace on earth, good will to men. And in despair bowed my head there is no peace on earth I said for hate is strong and it mocks the song of peace on earth good will to men then peal the bells more loud and deep God is not dead, nor doth he sleep. The wrong shall fail, the right prevail. With peace on earth, good will to men.
We begin a special service in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our entrance hymn, number 267, Joy to the World. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us come into the light and love of Christ, confessing our need for God's mercy. God of mercy, 
We confess that we are not perfect. We have said and done things we regret. We have tried to earn your redeeming grace while denying it to others. We have resisted your call to be your voice in the world. Forgive us, loving God. Give us your righteousness, the strength to put aside our failures, and the courage to try again. Amen. Dear people of God, hear the good news. Christ the Savior is born. You are loved and forgiven in the name of Jesus, who has come among us. You are freed from proving that you deserve to be loved, because God's love is given to you as the most precious gift of all. Rejoice in this. Amen. We continue with our dialogue. God has sent us a sign. A sign which is an invitation to hope. God has invited us to make room in our hearts. Even when there is no room in the end. When we are too busy. Calmness. When we are lost. Salvation. When we are sad. Joy. When we are bitter. Love. When we are in turmoil. Peace. May we see the signs and open our hearts. We join together in the prayer. Almighty God, you made this holy night shine with brightness of the true light. Grant that here on earth we may walk in the light of Jesus' presence and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we continue with our next hymn, Away in the Manger. A reading from Isaiah, the ninth chapter, beginning with the second verse. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nations, you have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with the joy of harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice 
and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Quiet town, quiet night, the heavens all aglow, the wanderers in Bethlehem at last have found repose, a quiet place, a sheltered space, a stable bleak and poor, a mother's sigh, a baby's cry, a holy child is born, quiet hands, swaddling bands, Against the midnight chill, Joseph tends the, the oxen and lambs, trying to keep them still. Quietly the shepherds kneel to worship and adore. The marvel at the miracle, a holy child is born. Quietly, quietly, the love of God descends. And quiet hearts can hear the song of peace, goodwill to men. Quietly, so quietly, the world is set aright, and on the world heaven smiles. A holy child is born this quiet night. Christmas love. Each day, the kindergarten students presented a special program for the holiday season. It was an exciting time for six-year-olds. For weeks, they'd been memorizing songs for their winter program, as it came to be known in school. When the program started, each class, accompanied by their teacher, sat cross-legged on the floor. Then each group, one by one, rose to perform their song. Because society had long stopped referring to the holiday as Christmas, I didn't expect anything other than fun, commercial entertainment, songs of reindeer, Santa Claus, snowflakes, and good cheer. When it came time for the kindergarten song, Christmas Love, I was taken aback by its bold title, Christmas Love. The children in the front row center stage held up signs with large letters to spell out the title of the song. As the class would sing C for Christmas, a child would hold up the letter. Then H is for happy, and on and on, until each child holding up their portion had represented the complete message, Christmas love. <coughs> the performance was going smoothly until suddenly we noticed her a small, quiet girl in the front row holding the letter M upside down. She was totally unaware her M appeared as a W. Many in the audience started giggling at this little one's mistake. 
but she had no idea they were laughing at her, so she stood tall, proudly holding her W. The laughter continued until the last letter was raised, and we all saw it together. A hush came over the audience, and eyes began to widen. In that instant, we understood the reason we were there and why we celebrate this holiday in the first place, why even in the chaos, there was a purpose for all our festivities. When the last letter was held high, the message read loud and clear, Christ was love. And each of us here, for each of us here, he still is. May we be amazed by his presence, humbled by his love, and share this love with everyone. A reading from Luke, the second chapter, beginning with the first verse. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. See, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. 
the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. The Gospel of our Lord. We'll continue with the anthem by our senior choir, Arise and Shine. and Carol. And let's also get our hands going a little bit for our prelude musicians and our readers. So tonight we're declaring everything the applause section, so thank you very much. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. What is it that brings you here tonight? Why exactly are you here? Why exactly do we do this? Maybe some of you are here because your mom's made you come, or your parents, or your grandparents. Maybe for you, maybe for you it's a family tradition. Maybe it's the music and the joy of the season. Maybe it's a rousing anthem by our senior choir. Or maybe you're just simply looking for something that's missing in life. There are many 
reasons indeed why we are here. And that's the good news for us, because the why doesn't matter. Whether you go to church every week or whether you just like Christmas, we are all here looking for something. We're all carrying something. What exactly are you carrying on this Christmas Eve? In many pictures of the nativity, we might see a donkey led by Joseph with Mary on it on their way to Bethlehem. But did you know there's no mention anywhere in any of the Gospels of a donkey in the Christmas story? But whether or not there was a donkey carrying Mary, each person on that first Christmas was carrying something. Joseph was probably carrying a lot of questions, not just where are we going to stay. And Mary, it said, was heavy with child, carrying the fear of her first birth and the question of how exactly all of this happened. Then we have the innkeeper who was carrying his compassion, which allowed this little family to have a place to stay, even if all he could offer was a common stable. And then the shepherds. The shepherds were carrying a bad reputation, the way people throughout the people in the area and in town thought about them, because they were outcasts in society. And more so, they were also carrying the joy of knowing that God was up to something special, which included them on this first night. And then they were carrying the terror they must have been feeling when they were encountered by an army of angels. The angels were carrying good news to give hope to all people. And that's the heart of our Christmas message. For you. Notice, it's not just the announcement that Jesus was born, but the angels say, Jesus is born for you. And it's not just good news in general. It's good news of great joy for you and for all people. Our God knows what each of us is carrying in these days of Christmas. Maybe it's beyond presents and full hearts. It could be weary minds, our longings, and our hopes. God knows what each of us is carrying tonight, whether it be sadness, joy, hope, or fear. And maybe that's why we're here. Maybe that's why the story of Christmas is so important, because it can reach into the dark corners of our souls. The places where we wonder, can all of this really happen? Those spaces where the world's darkness might seem so much more prominent than the light. And that's what this Christmas story is made for, to shine light in those dark places, to bring hope to the discouraged, insight to the lost, and the promise of peace to all who long for it. So maybe, just maybe, each of us in some way is looking for the same thing tonight because we hope for the promise of that peace. Peace in our hearts, peace in our homes, and peace on earth. All made possible because of what we celebrate tonight with the excitement of the children and the joy of the greatest gift of all, the birth of a Savior. So once again, close your eyes and listen to when the Son of God was born.
Adam snuck in an extra Helgeson, so thank you, Jason, also. Please rise if you're able for our affirmation of faith. And with one voice, let us confess our faith together in the God who comes to give us life. We believe that Christmas is more than a time for parties and ornaments. It is a time for remembering Christ and the incarnation of God's love in human flesh. We believe there are gifts more important than the ones under the Christmas tree. The things we teach our children, the way we share ourselves with friends, the way we love our Please be seated. We'll continue with our offering hymn, Angels We Have Heard on High, and our offering for this evening.
Please rise if you are able for prayer. And each petition will end with, Lord, in your mercy, and the congregation will respond. Hear our prayer. Let us pray. God of all glory, send your spirit upon each of us. Fill our hearts with the joy of this night. Stir your church in all its forms and denominations and in every place to join the angel's song, praising you for your birth among us and your presence within us. Lord, in your mercy. On this night of your love come down to us, scatter the bitterness of hatred and fear, that all people may have peace on earth and work to establish goodwill among all nations. Please continue to be with and keep safe all who serve to keep order in our world. Lord, in your mercy. Shine your healing light on those who are alone and long for companionship, on those who are rejected, on those who mourn, on those who are weak, on those who are troubled, on those who are sick, and especially on those who feel they have no one to pray for them. Use us to bring the hope and comfort that is found in you. Lord, in your mercy. Free us from our preoccupation with what has been. Relieve our fears of what may come and assure us that we live in the light of your unfailing compassion. Lord, in your mercy. Comfort us with the certain knowledge that our departed loved ones who aren't here to celebrate the gift of your son are indeed basking in the light of your eternal presence and that we too will inherit life with you. Lord, in your mercy. Keep safe all who will be traveling at this Christmas time and all who will be working to keep our travelers safe, especially those in law enforcement, ambulance and EMT crews, hospital workers and all who keep our roads clear of snow and ice. Lord, in your mercy. Hear the hopes and prayers of our hearts on this holy night, O God, and magnify our joy at the birth of your light among us. Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And may the feeling of joy, the blessing of peace, the beauty of hope, the spirit of love, the comfort of faith, may these be your gifts this Christmas season and in the year to come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, share the good news in word and deed. Thanks be to God. Please be seated. And at this time, I wish you a good afternoon, good evening, and thank you for being part of our Christmas Eve candlelight service. A special thank you to Marilyn Hansen, who sponsored the Christmas prelude music on the radio in memory of Dallas, and also to Mary Gustafson and crew, who for the first time in her life is sitting in the front row. (laughs) Mary and family for for sponsoring, now I made myself laugh, I'm sorry, (laughs) for sponsoring our broadcast this evening. And again, a special thank you to our musicians, the choir, the readers, and each of you, because your voices made this service very special. And now a note on candle lighting. There's a little switch on the bottom. When we begin sing, hearing the German version of Silent Night, the acolytes are going to, here's where Dave's imagination comes in. We're going to pretend it's real flame. The acolytes will slowly walk down the center aisle, and as they pass your row, see if you can do the wave with your candles until the place is lit up. God bless your Christmas.
right now we're going to turn our candles off (laughs) please be seated and again god bless you this christmas good job